Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the Cinegears Ghost Eye 600 meter wireless transmission kit. So when you're your own cinematographer, director, producer, you get to see what you're shooting by looking through the camera that's on the tripod or on your shoulder. As soon as you start going up to another level and having different people operating the cameras than you, you need to see what they're shooting. And for the first you know, 10 years of my career, that meant um, looking over the shoulder of the camera person or running a cable from the camera to a monitor. Very soon you move out of that space, it no longer becomes convenient, maybe because you have other people on set, like a client that needs to see your um, see what you're shooting or just other people in the crew that need to be across what's going on, like the cinematographer, or you're in a position where only the camera person can be near talent for whatever reason, and even the focus puller needs to be on a wireless monitor. To do this, in the past I've rented um, Teradek units. Now, the two or 300 meter versions are about 100 bucks a day. Um, to buy, they're like three or four thousand dollars. I've done a couple of reviews on other systems that I've used that are a couple of hundred dollars to buy, but the issue with them is that they have latency, they're not instantaneous. You can't pull focus on a video that's happening a couple of seconds after it really happened because you're going to miss the moment. You need something that is instantaneous. I've typically hired Teradek units and they have worked fine. Um, but the issue with them is the ones that you rent tend to go out a lot, meaning they get rented a lot, they get banged around, they're not always in the greatest condition. Um, and what ends up happening is they lose signal or they become untethered to one another. And everyone just ends up standing around while someone or everyone tries to troubleshoot why the wireless isn't working, why it's not connecting. Um, and a lot of the time I've just, you know, thrown up my hands and gone and stood next to the camera so I could see what's being shot while people tried to work that out. It's really frustrating, it holds up your day. So recently I decided to invest in my own um, wireless transmission units that are instantaneous. So a step up from um, the $100 and $200 versions that I've used before. These are purpose-built cinema camera wireless transmission units. Um, they're made by a company called Cinegears, uh, not to be confused with Cinegear, the expo that happens in LA once a year. I, so far, I love them. They're really awesome. The signal is super strong. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to be 600 meters away from where I'm shooting, uh, but I wanted some excess capacity. I went with the Cinegear Ghost Eyes unit because I'd heard really good things, but they're not as expensive as the Teradex. They still have awesome build quality. They still have awesome electronics. They come with a three-year warranty. One thing that I like about this unit is there's a couple of different power options. You can power them from a um, V-mount battery but they also come with a built-in um, NP mount battery. So for small shoots where you're only going to be out in the field for an hour or two, you can just run off a couple of small NP batteries uh, without having to go uh, full cinema and rig the whole camera out with a V-mount. This one streams in 10-bit 422 um, 1080p. So the quality of the signal is really high um, and it's less than a frame latency. So it's almost instantaneous. It's a two-part system, one part uh, the transmitter sits on top of the camera and you can connect it to uh, via SDI or HDMI and you can also run an SDI system through it. So you, if your camera like the C200 only has one SDI out, you can go SDI into the transmitter and then go SDI out of the transmitter into a monitor that your operator is using. On the other end, you then have a um, receiver that picks up the signal from up to 600 meters away. But what I like about this is it has two outputs. So it has um, an SDI that can go straight to a director's monitor. And then it has a second SDI that if you wanted to, you could run um, with cable to a video village somewhere else. This unit starts at 1800 and depending on the options that you get, like you can get one with the biggest, with a LCD screen, you can get one with more aerials. So for me, it's the equivalent of renting a Teradek for two weeks and you know, so far, it's worked for me really well. Uh, I've not only saved the money that I would have been spending on rentals, but I've also saved the time going back and forth to the rental house. I almost always have trouble on set on every shoot with either setting up or keeping a link between the camera and the monitors. And since I've been using these units, I haven't had a single issue. The one I got came with a really awesome hard case that has custom 
um, cut foam. It comes with uh, four SDI cables. It comes with uh, two power to DTAP cables, so you can power both units off V-mount batteries or gold-mount batteries. It comes with two different options for the aerials, these little kind of UFO bongle aerials, as well as um, the full-size antennas. These aren't the smallest units. The transmitter especially is twice the size of a pack of cards, and there's a fan in the receiver that um, would be too loud to have that close to camera. Um, it's sort of the same volume as someone kind of breathing out loudly. Um, but the whole point of this is to get the monitor away from the camera so that it's not gonna interfere with the shot. So I don't see that as a liability at all. All of the video transmitter kits um, always talk about how many meters away you can be from them. But the real challenge for these is walls. They use um, radio frequency, sort of like Wi-Fi. So when your direct line of sight to the transmitter is blocked, you tend to lose signal pretty easily. You can also get these in um, 100 meter, 200 meter, 1000 meter kits, I believe. If you're doing something specialized, like shooting between cars on the freeway, um, you can go with a 1000 meter kit. Or if you just plan on doing something within the same room or in a couple of rooms away, you can go with a 200 meter kit. I thought the 600, while still being pretty cheap, is a good compromise that's gonna cover me for most of the scenarios that I work with. So that's a little look at the Cinegears Ghost Eye 600 meter um, wireless transmission set. Uh, check them out in the links below. Leave your questions in the comments. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.